Hey guys, so as some of you may know, we finished our full home renovation about a year ago. So we've had a full year living in the house, living with all of our design decisions, all of that lovely stuff. And I wanted to do this video to talk you guys through some of the must have things that we are loving and would do again. I've previously filmed a video talking through all of our renovation regrets. So if you've not seen that video, I will link that here. Go check it out. But today we're gonna focus on the positives. So whether you're just doing some upgrades to your space or you're completely starting from scratch, stay tuned because some of these things could take your home to the next level. First up on the list is light wood floors. Not only do they add warmth and a little bit more character to the space, but opting for a lighter tone definitely makes it feel a lot more kind of open and airy. Light wood floors are also super versatile. They complement a wide range of interior styles. So whether you go for a more modern contemporary style, more rustic, light wood floors will match a lot of those. Plus my favorite thing is they don't show up dirt. We have two dogs and although we keep on top of our cleaning and stuff, there's nothing worse than your floor just constantly looking dirty. So if you're looking for something that's gonna hide that dirt a little bit more, light wood is actually a really good option. Next up, let's talk about the heart of the home, which is the kitchen. And one of my favorite items that I will be taking to my next renovation is a double bowl sink. It's definitely a must have for any kitchen because it offers a lot of flexibility. Whether you use one for soaking pans, doing the washing up, you use the other for prepping food, or if you're trying to multitask and clean the home, having two bowls is a great option for that. The way that we use ours is we actually use the left hand one as a kind of drying rack and we use our right hand one to do all our washing and stuff. This works so well for us. I don't like having a lot of stuff on the side. I like to keep it pretty minimal. So being able to have our drying rack sat in that left sink and all of the drips that come off the pans and stuff all just kind of go down the sink anyway. And you just don't constantly see stuff on the side. For me, I absolutely love it. Also, don't think that you have to be doing a full kitchen renovation to be able to update your sink. Quite often, especially if you have laminate worktops, you can really easily drop in a different sink. So that is quite a quick upgrade that could elevate your kitchen a little bit more. To complement your double bowl kitchen sink, let's talk about taps. We went for a pull-out kitchen tap and I've never had one of these before and I cannot live without one now. They honestly make cleaning dishes, cleaning your sink an absolute breeze. You can literally just direct the water wherever you need it. Ours also has two different spray settings, which is really, really helpful as well. And again, I know that changing a tap could seem like a really daunting task, but it's a really quick, easy DIY friendly upgrade that you can make. We actually changed the tap in our last house I feel like that was before I fully got confident with doing DIY and stuff. So I was confident to do it then. We obviously had our, our kitchen completely fitted and stuff. So we had someone install this one. But yeah, don't be afraid and think that it's too big of a task to do. Replacing a whole kitchen is really expensive, obviously. But changing out a sink, a tap, little things like that can definitely change the way that you use the space and the way that it looks as well. <laughs> Now let's move on to the bathroom, our ensuite in particular. Our favorite thing is the walk-in shower. Having a flat level kind of shower tray looks far more elevated, way more stylish, and also it's a lot more accessible for people of all ages. I know a lot of people opt to have more of a wet room style walk-in shower tray. Ours is actually an actual shower tray. It's just a very slimline one. We looked into going down more of a wet room style when we were getting quotes and stuff. It was a little bit more expensive, hence why we opted for a shower tray. But I actually really love it because 
no grout lines, you still get that same kind of functionality and it still looks really good as well. Plus, if you have the space to just opt for a single glass panel rather than a sliding door, a pivot door, do it because they are so much easier to clean and stay on top of and maintain. There aren't weird little nooks and stuff for dirt to get into. It's just, yeah, nice, simple, plain of glass, easier to clean. Last but not least, let's talk about laundry room. Creating a separate space for your washer and dryer is absolute game changer. Now, not everyone has the room to be able to create a separate utility room. We didn't have that here. That is the dream. Calling ours a laundry room is a massive stretch. It's not a room, it's a cupboard. For us, we had an old water tank in our hallway cupboard, which we had removed when we updated our boiler anyway, which left us this really, really big cupboard and it was the perfect space to have our washer and dryer plumbed in there and remove it from the kitchen, which is where it was previously. In the UK, it's pretty common to have your washer and dryer in the kitchen, which if you think about it is really, really bizarre. Um, our hallway cupboard, laundry cupboard is closer towards our bedrooms and it makes so much sense to have it located in that space. But if you have a little bit of room to spare somewhere in your house, whether it's upstairs, downstairs, near the kitchen, near the bedrooms, think about creating a little laundry space. It's so much more functional. It's nicer to keep all of your laundry bits out of sight. And quite often it helps reduce noise as well. If we'd have had our like laundry stuff in our kitchen in this house, it's all open plan. I don't wanna be sat watching TV, chilling of an evening and be able to hear my laundry on the go. So for us having that separation, amazing. And there you have it. Those were some of our must haves for a home renovation to help make the space more stylish and more functional as well. Literally everything that I have just been through is stuff that we will categorically be taking into our next renovation. And we will be doing another renovation because we've got the bug. If you guys are new to this channel and you haven't seen the space as a whole, I will link our home tour. I'll link that before and after in the description as well, in case you wanna go see what the house was before and what it looks like now and see all the work that we've done to it. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an upload. And I will catch you guys in the next one.